Baffle Creek, Central Queensland. We come here pretty often. You've seen Kyle and Vicky in a few of our videos and here we are with them at their place. And across the road from where they live is Baffle Creek, which is more like a river actually. So Kyle and I are going for a paddle. We've both got Think skis, which is by coincidence, but pretty cool. So Kyle ahead of me here is in the Think Ion, which is quite an elite ski. Quite narrow, quite long. And as you know, I'm in the Think Zen, which is a more beginner intermediate ski. Now typically I'd use my Nordic for flat water, but because we'd been on the road already by for about five weeks at this point, I only took the one ski so I could use it in the ocean also. Probably making excuses as to why I'm a bit slower than Kyle, but if you look at the size of this bloke, it's probably more the reason why I'm a bit slower than him. So we go up the river a bit here and we turn around a little island and we come back. Righto. So it ends up being about a seven to eight kilometre paddle. And we're just going nice and easy. Now, it gets very shallow, we're on a sandbar here. And our rudders are actually hitting the sand. So we should have gone around to the right there, where the river's deeper. But then we come out of it there, as you can see. So we hit that sure? quite a it's few times. So this is Kyle's local training yeah, area. So he knows the way. river pretty well. Oh, I'm not. I'm trying to hit the sand. Oh, there we go. So I'm hitting the sand with my paddle here. Yeah, yeah. Again, if we'd gone right yeah, yeah. around the bend, wow. it would have been in deeper water. But Look we did that on the way back. He's paddling through this. Oh, it's, it's all it was. So when you get to shallow water like this, the boat nearly stops. There tends to be a bit of friction yeah, between right. the bottom of the boat and go. the ground or the sand. You can barely move. It's really quite difficult. Yeah. But you see there where the water got deeper again. So we were fine. Now up here on the leftish hand side, so straight ahead left is the island we turn around. Oh yeah, you can see it now. Nice. So we stay to the left hand side of it, and do a loop, come back around. So it was a little bit rainy, got a little bit of rain, but the water's beautiful. And going this way, we're going against the current. So the tide's going out, which is nice. It means we're going to have the current on our side paddling back. And it just, it just gets narrower as you go up, I would assume. No. Oh. no. So have you been past here? Oh yes, I have. So we're at, um, what, about three and a half k now. I've had it as far as, I think about seven k down. Right. Yeah. Do you reckon we're going against the tide there? Yeah. Oh. Oh. So yeah, super shallow bit. So you can see where the water looks darker and that's where it's deeper. So we just kept heading towards that. So obviously we're just doing a pretty easy paddle here. Well, till the end, hang on, wait till the end. Kyle just can't help himself. 3.65 to the turn, that's perfect. And now we've got the current behind us. So we go around this little island, a little bit narrower on this side. Oh, for sure. So at this point, I gave the camera to Kyle. Here, GoPro on a head mount. I'll give you this. That's all right. Check out our new merch, including our new TriFit and Van logo. Men's and women's, blue only. Link below. Handing the GoPro to Kyle. He'll get some of me. But we got to do the transition here somewhere. Oh, let's go, mate. So we handed yep. the camera over, but I didn't have the floaty on it, so we really didn't want to drop it. And I just we'll wanted Kyle to get a bit of footage of me. 
because I don't really see myself paddle. I'm always doing the filming. So he pulls up behind me here. It's probably the first time I've really seen this angle of me, I think. I've had the GoPro mounted on the back of the ski facing towards me before, but once he gets up properly behind me here, I get a good indication on how I'm going, and I don't think it's too bad. Much better than it was a couple of years ago, that's for sure. I actually feel this is better than I thought I was doing. So, still not a lot of twist. I am doing leg drive, I'm trying. You can't see that, but I am. So, I recommend if you got a mate and you go paddling with and you got a GoPro, just get some footage of yourself because it lets you see how, you, how you're going. So, I'm far from an elite paddler, but I'm improving now. I have very low rating, I always have. And my paddle here is a medium sized blade. Now I tried a small, and I just felt like I wasn't pulling any water. So maybe it's because I have a naturally slow rating. I'm the same when I swim. I have a very slow rating when I swim. So it's the same with paddling. And I don't think it affects me. I feel like I get through the water okay. So we went wide at the bend of the river here. That's where we got caught in the sandbar coming through the other way. And you can see Kyle there, he's just a, he's a big strong guy. You know, he's borderline 100 kilo. And he's had a life of throwing weights around. So he's a strong bloke and he just muscles that blade. So I thought we were just going to ease on home. Nice social paddle, good chat with each other. And Kyle obviously had different ideas. So A, he's a better paddler. B, he's in a much faster ski. And I could see what he was doing. I thought, right, righto, I gotta get in your wake here. I'm gonna have no hope in hell. So I'm pushing here, let me tell you. And I just want to get in behind his ski. So like with cycling, if you've ever ridden a bike, it's easier when you ride behind someone. It's the same when you're paddling. So you need to get right up behind them. You don't want to hit their ski because that really pisses them off. And these skis are long, so it's hard actually to work out how close you are. But I am working and I'm just trying to hold him. And he did a couple of little surges, which I managed to respond to and get back on. And then he does one final surge, because we're probably only a couple of hundred metres from the boat ramp where we put the skis in. And I just try to dig deep. Here we go, the elastic band. So I held for as long as I could. And he's gone. So we're doing well over 11 kilometres an hour here, which... For me, it's quite quick, particularly in this ski. But I held on to him up until probably the last minute or so, so I'm pretty happy with that. As I said, I'll come back here with my Nordic, my skinnier, faster, lighter ski. He'll still kick my ass, but maybe I'll last a little bit longer. And up here on the left is the boat ramp. So this boat ram is literally a couple hundred metres from Kyle's house, although we still had to bring the car because we had to chuck the skis on the roof. And it was a really nice little paddle, as I said, 7 to 8k. Most of it quite social, till that last 3-4 minutes. And the water's a bit brackish here, about 20k downstream is the ocean, so it's tidal. So it is a bit salty. And up on to the racks of Kyle's car. Take the skis home and give them a wash. So there's a fun social paddle. I'm definitely back into it. And I plan to get on the ski at least once a week in between my other training. And I'll take the Nordic out next time. Here's a good aerial view of where we just paddled.
magic spot. Thanks for paddling with me.